The X600M can either mount to a DIN rail or it can be wall mounted. To attach the X600M to a DIN rail, place its back top hook onto the DIN rail and then snap the bottom hook into place. To remove the X600M from the DIN rail, use a flathead screwdriver and insert it into the notch at the bottom of the X600M and pry against the enclosure to release the bottom hook. To power the X600M, first remove the terminal connector and connect a regulated power supply to the VN plus and VN minus terminals. We recommend using a 24 volt power supply for most applications. When wiring, make sure that the wires are properly inserted into the terminals and that the screws are tight. After that is done, reconnect the terminal connector and apply power. The expansion modules draw their power from the X600M through the expansion cable. To connect an expansion module, simply plug the expansion cable into the X600M's expansion port and then plug in the remaining connectors to the expansion modules. The expansion bus can provide up to 1.7 amps for powering expansion modules. However, the maximum number of expansion modules you can use with an X600M depends on the type of expansion module and the power supply you are using. Both the voltage of the power supply and the current output from the power supply affect the number of modules that can be connected, so please be sure you understand how this works before connecting more than a few modules. To connect the X600M to the network, connect its Ethernet port to an Ethernet hub, switch, or router using a standard Ethernet cable. It can also be temporarily connected directly to a computer's Ethernet port. You can also connect an X600M to a wireless network by using a USB wireless adapter or by connecting it to an Ethernet bridge or a wireless router, but whenever possible, we recommend using a wired network. Once you have the X600M connected to your network, you are ready to establish communications in order to start configuring it for your application. For more information about power specifications for the X600M and its expansion modules, please see their respective user's manuals.